Hello Norfolk State students, this is Dr. Nykirk coming to you with a video tutorial on how to access Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, the virtual classroom we're going to be using for the remainder of the semester. I'm going to show you how to do this on both a mobile device and on a computer. Um, so what I've done is I've already recorded um, a screencast from my phone, which I will just play for you here so you can see how to do this first on a mobile device, and then I'll go back and show you how to do it on the computer. Um, I had a little issue with my audio cutting out when I was recording on the phone, so I will play it until that happens, and then I'm just going to talk through um, over that um, while we watch the mobile option. Okay, so here is how to do this on a mobile device to join our virtual classroom. Hello, Norfolk State students. This is Dr. Nykirk recording a screencast on my phone to show you how to access Blackboard Collaborate Ultra on a mobile device. This is what we're going to be using for our virtual class sessions for the rest of the semester. So I'm on an iPhone now, but this should also work on an Android. There are two ways that you can access our virtual classroom. Um, one is through the Blackboard app. So I have this Blackboard app. You can see my top row, um, third from the right. It's got an icon of a little pencil. So if you already have the Blackboard app, you can open that up. If you don't have it, you can install it. Um, and you should uh, go to whatever your home stream is. This is gonna look a little different for me as a faculty member than it will for you as a student. But basically, if you click or tap on the three slashes in the top left-hand corner to the left of activity stream on that black banner, I'll do that now, then it should show you um, your courses and since I am not a student in any courses, I don't have anything here, but for you, you would go to our class and select that um, course, our course, to get started. I am gonna go back, because um, I am a member of some organizations, so this will look similar. So uh, again, for you, you would go into the course um, uh, menu, and then once you click into the course, it should look a bit like this, where you have announcements, content, assignments, etc. And you'll see under materials here, the third from the um, bottom is collaborate with a little camera icon. So if you click or tap on collaborate, you'll see at the top a course room. This is like a virtual classroom. So this is like a digital room for our class. And it says join room. You can just tap on join room and then it will automatically open up our course room. So this is where you go through the app um, to join the room. Now, this is an important thing. It's going to ask you to access the microphone and the camera, and it's important that you allow that. So I'm going to tap allow. So once I tapped allow, it actually cut my audio out of my phone recording, but I'll just keep narrating now. So once you allow, it loads up, and this is our um, virtual classroom. Um, you can see there are options for, um, right now, the microphone and the camera are muted. But if you click on them, um, it will allow you to um, talk via the microphone and to be seen via the camera. Um, and the best practice, really, if you're not speaking, is to keep the microphone muted. Oh, okay, so now I clicked on the camera. I'm going to allow it to access the camera on my phone. And there we go. Then you get audio. So sorry, my voice is not going to match up because the audio was cut off here. Um, but I'm allowing video and then you can kind of see yourself on the bottom corner and you'll be able to see all your classmates up on the rest of the screen when there's more than one person in the room. So um, that's the general overview of using this on a phone. Uh, I'm going to click out of this now and we're going to go to, to seeing how to do this on a computer because from here on in it pretty much looks the same on a mobile device versus um, on a computer. So I'm going to stop this now and we are going to take a look at how to do this from a computer from a Blackboard page. All right, so hopefully this will look familiar. This is our Blackboard announcements homepage. Um, I've, I've got my composition class up, but this should look similar for whatever class you have with me. So I've gone into my regular course um, and the way you access Blackboard Collaborate Ultra um, from a computer is to go to tools here. I'm going to click on tools right there and then you just look for Blackboard Collaborate Ultra which is right here 
and click into there. And then this should look familiar from the mobile device. Okay, so we are, um, this is the course room. Here's our virtual classroom. I'm, again, I'm just gonna click on course room and then it allows me to join the course room. Um, you can also dial in, you can call this number on your phone and enter this pin and that will also get you access to the room. Um, all right, so this is letting me access the room. Again, same thing, when you access the room, it's gonna ask you permission for your um, camera and your microphone on your computer and it's important to let them, uh, to allow those permissions. Okay, so I'm gonna allow the microphone and allow again. Okay, so that will get you into the classroom. This is again our virtual classroom. So let me give you a quick tour of how this works. Um, again, down here is the microphone and the camera, which right now are muted. Um, so same as I did um, before, if I unmute the video and share video, again, it's important to allow the video to work. Hello, here I am. Okay, so I'm gonna, when I hit share, then that's gonna allow the other people in the room uh, to see me. I'm gonna see a little preview of myself down here in the corner and you'll see everybody else up in the center of the room. I'm gonna keep my audio muted. It's generally best practice to keep your audio muted when you're not talking, if you're just listening to other people or listening to me lecture. That way you don't get the background noise of the environment. Um, and then if you want to speak uh, or say something, then you can unmute or share your audio. It's also a good practice to use headphones, again, just to cut down on background noise in the classroom. This also has a little feature where you can raise your hand uh, to ask a question so you can stay muted and just um, visually show that you're, you want to say something if I'm calling on people or whatever. Okay, and then here are a few things about how this works. This purple arrow in the bottom right is going to give you access to a bunch of different collaboration tools. So there is a chat window here, and again the mobile also has all of these same things in the same place. So this is a chat window. You can uh, make a comment on something, you know, if someone's sharing a piece or giving a presentation, um, you can give a little feedback in real time while the um, class is going on. This will show you who is in the room. Uh, right now I'm the only one in the room. My hand is raised. Um, and then uh, this is going to be really important. This is a share content button. And so I will preload if I have any documents um, that I want you to view then we can um, share that content together. There's also a virtual uh, whiteboard that I will be using so we can have like a, a board on, at the class. Um, and then these settings, you know, if you have any issues with your camera or your mic, you can reset things here, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then to get out of this, in the, in the mobile device, this takes up the whole screen. So you have to close this panel to get back to the screen. On the laptop, you can see them kind of both at the same time. All right, and then the only other thing is um, to close and the session, you go up to the session menu here um, and down at the bottom, it says leave session. So that is it. That is our brief tutorial on how to access Blackboard Collaborate Ultra.